Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Nordic Ashes run. And today I'm going to be doing a run with Thera. We're going to start with the Bob because I'm going to try to get the bird build. Let's go into Alfenheim hard mode as I haven't gotten any Alfenheim wins with her. So uh, with getting hard mode, you also get normal mode for free. As far as I know, not exactly sure. We're going to see. We're going to start with the bow, as I said, and uh, let's instantly invest into uh, Ravna. We're going to go with a bird build today. Hopefully, it's going to be good. I have no idea how good or not the bird is as a build itself. Um, so, yeah, let's go. Let's go cool on an area, whatever. First of all, I definitely want summons, but, you know, summons is going to happen later. Duration is makes it just fly out farther. Area and damage. That sounds good. Area and damage is good to me. Projectiles is definitely something I want, though. This is one max life. Let's yolo it. Oh, take it. Got hit twice. It is what it is. We still got the health at the end of the day, so... Uh, the max health, that is. So now we have three max health already, which is pretty good, honestly. We just started with as much max health, max, max health as the tank has. Yeah, while well, we're not the tank. As simple as that. Now, of course, in the very, very beginning, you want to be running around as fast as you can, finding boxes and whatnot. Maybe uh, be a bit lucky with finding... I don't know, maybe a magnet? Wink, wink, game? Maybe? Wink, wink? Or just an event, you know, with a free relic. No, or a bunch of other things that you can possibly get in the beginning. Or a potion. Let's get this. The image in area is good. Cooldown and duration. <laughs> Honestly, I want to roll this. I want to slowly start rolling. Cooldown damage is better. I, I don't want to increase the duration that much. I mean, the duration is already good enough. Now we def definitely just want to get as many birds as possible. We don't want them to last a year. We want them to just... 50 of them to appear at the same time. And, all, and us gathering like all of them. That is uh, the actual plan. Look at this. We're fighting... Fighting little uh, potato heads, I guess. Uh, what, what are these guys? I guess uh, muffins. We're fighting muffins. Fighting little muffins. Three levels. Let's level up a bird. Boom. Cool on duration. Once again, I don't really want duration that much. Area and damage is a yes. Duration, no. I, I, I As I said, I, I do not want the birds to like go and fly off to the other side of the universe. No, I just... I got it on purpose there. I just uh, I just want them to spawn in a million different ways and hit as many opponents as possible. And that is happening with area and the cooldown, of course, and projectiles. So more of them appear at the same time. But definitely not with duration. And cooldown is something I'm investing into anyway. So level this up, damage in area. And now damage in area is good, once again. As long as I gain damage, it's good. And projectiles is going to be gained, hopefully. And how many levels do I have left on this? Seven. So I guess in level... Eight and nine, I would hope. Hey, look, a tree has appeared. Let's try to shoot it down. Shoot down the tree. I mean, with only one bird at a time. I don't actually see it happening. Not anytime uh, soon. Um, but we're gonna try our best. Can't really do anything about this anyway. It's a very RNG heavy build. And a second elite on top of the first one. Very nice. That's the only thing that we were missing right now. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. Let's hope to uh, let's hope to get, I guess, a couple of levels for free. Actually, I have yep three points per level. Damage in area. So, cooldown and summons is good. Cooldown and summons, and then the last level is going to be damage and summons, and then we're gonna have like seven or eight summons. I'm pretty sure at that point. I mean, not eight, but the epic summons is two, and the legendary is gonna legendary is gonna be three. So we're gonna get like plus five summons at the last two levels. And then I guess the build is a go, right? Oh, wait, what? They did not elite up here within the elite because I definitely saw a chest there. So something is off here. Yeah, you see? There was a chest here. Attack speed and everything, projectile speed and everything, or crit chance. This is 5% chance to do a bit more damage, which could be 5% damage, so to speak. Projectile speed is maybe, yes, so the birds go faster. No, I think the play is this. I'm not going to waste a level on that, by the way. 5% more damage. If, um, if if the birds crit a double damage. Do they even crit? Can the birds even crit? Yeah, 6% chance to crit. I'm gonna level this up, by the way. Three summons. Oh, 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 perfect. Perfect. We literally instantly rolled exactly what we wanted. That was very, very, very lucky. Trying to line up the arrow shots. Although they don't really help us in any case. But it is what it is. I'm looking around these elites trying to get like a big level boost. But maybe I should just... Continue moving in big cycles so I can maybe find some chests, maybe find the ascension crystal. That's also important. And at the end of the day, these elites will appear again anyway. So why am I even focused on this so much? I can keep this potion on me until I find some other kind of potion. You know, oh, I'm boxed in. I should have gotten hit by anything other than the elite. Oh, no, the elites don't do double damage. I, um, I, I got mixed up there. 
And now that I'm thinking about it, let's actually go and really quickly run it back. I say really quickly, but it's not gonna be quickly. Let's go back into that event area. Okay, let's level up the bird. Ooh, now we're spawning six of them at the same time. It's just raining birds. Give me one more projectile on birds. Duration on them. Better than anything. And I definitely do not want to level up or reroll there. We got two mental progression currencies, but I only found the one. I don't think we're gonna ever see the other one again because I have no idea where it was. Let's actually just pick this up so I don't have to deal with it later. Because why not? I still have the potion, just in case. Uh, now the potion is gonna be used mostly at the boss fight, as uh, the boss is the only thing that really does anything dangerous to us. The damage of the birds isn't on the higher ends of things, like 44 damage isn't really that much, but I also haven't found any relic right now that does anything, so it makes sense that we run that. Part area bigger, yes. I continue with going with any upgrade that has to do with bird upgrades. Very nice, I got a point. Let's start expanding throughout the skill tree. So we're gonna start getting pretty much everything. Bows and daggers, nope. Uh, bows and daggers and bombs, gain project with no build. These are both useless for us, like completely. I guess I'm gonna go with bows and daggers, have a chance to fire at another bow or something. Duration is a yes though, we want that. And then if you don't move daggers, bows and bomb gains damage and cooldown, also useless. And your arrows and daggers have a chance to apply poison, also useless. But we all want the cooldown and we also want the area. So uh, the big passives that are blocking our way do not affect the arrows, uh, the birds. Um, I think this is a bit of an oversight on the dev's part, right? Like, um, I mean, you literally have a skill that is not referenced in any of the passives. I, I think that's a bit of an oversight. And uh, when you like, if you want to have access to a bow, you have to have the bird. So it's not like you can say, oh, don't just don't invest anything into the bird. No, the bird is like in the middle of the tree. So if you want to have arrows, you will have to have birds. Um, un unless you don't want to have arrows, right? If you don't want to have arrows at all, then yes, you're not forced to go birds. So you go daggers and poison bombs or just daggers, you know. Uh, but uh, the thing is, what I'm trying to say is that if you're here and you want to get these passives, then you will have to invest a point into the Ravenna. So the Ravenna is not going to be affected by these. If you are here, then you can go like this. And then just, you know, skip the attack speed. Same goes with the dagger. If you're in the daggers, you can go like this and just pick up whatever you want. That is dagger passives. And once again, skip the attack speed. But if you're archery, you will have to invest into the bow, the, the bird and the bird. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think I need to explain this further. I already over explained it. Uh, let's continue going in loops. Uh, not in loops, just continue moving in general. Now we've got the magnet. This, uh, this area zone around us is a magnet. Ooh, 5% on everything. We take this. No question what. No matter what, we just you, you just take that. You see it, you take it. You want it, you got it. That's uh, one of the better items in my opinion. I mean, 5% on everything isn't really anything to write home about. But because it's on everything, you got a little bit of damage, a little bit of movement speed, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Like, it's, it's definitely worth it in, in a lot of small ways. Okay, we got the level up crystal, so we're gonna ascension that thing. Family. Two more ravens appear next to the main one, dealing 22 to 26, so that's half damage. And each raven leaves a sacred trail that deals 2 to 3 damage each 0.11. So this has a DPS of 2 to 20 to 30 damage per 1.1 second, which is also really good. Both of these are decent. Let's go with AoE for now, uh, so that we have better coverage, I would say. And then we're gonna go into damage. Now, uh, uh, as I said, I don't really want to invest into these because they're only going to open up my cooldown and stuff. So let's just go with a bunch of damage for now. I'm going to invest all my levels into damage. And uh, I think, I, I don't think actually, I guess my secondary spell is going to be the arrows, right? Like we're going to invest into the arrows. So yeah, maybe I should even invest into the arrows right away instead of going for passives. Because the birds look awesome though. Just this, the armada of birds attacking. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, uh, as I've said before, theoretically the plan is to find a bunch of crates and then loop around them. But I have not been following that path today at least. Most of the time I do. I mean, every uh, the last, I think the last five runs, uh, not five, the last three runs I have been following that path. But now I guess I haven't. Nice, you're toast. I got the level out of it. Three, four, level up. Let's continue going for damage. And because I don't have any points anymore, attack speed. Let's maybe start investing into the arrow. Uh, projectiles, nice. I'm gonna just invest everything into the arrow, just as quick as possible here. And then we're gonna go into anything else. Now, most likely... Ooh, a chest for 15. I think this is a good buy. 
But the thing is, is it though? Like, is it a good purchase? Because at the end of the day, we're about to go into the shop. And I don't know what the shop is going to provide us with right now. So theoretically speaking, I shouldn't buy that chest. As, um, yeah, as the shop can easily sell something for 10 or 15 that is going to be worth more. And the most important part, of course, that I really, really want to get is a magnet. Hopefully the shop's going to sell us a magnet. As that's pretty much a make or break the game. Wee! Like a magnet is the difference between 10 to 20 more levels. Per chance, projectiles or summons. We're gonna go with summons in the Ravenna. I mean, at the end of the day, we are a Ravenna first build. Let's pick that XP up. Let's pick this XP up. And let's continue investing into the arrows. So we have like a secondary skill that can do something. I don't want to invest like six points just to get access to duration. So let's go attack spin cooldown. Cool. Yeah, very nice. Cooldown damage. Damage in area is good. Area is useless, by the way. Uh, projectiles and area. I mean, area once again pretty useless unless I'm not understanding something about the arrows. Which, uh, the arrows seem to be like wiggling a bit. I'm not exactly sure if that's true. This is a status chance, which means it's a useless stat. <laughs> chance to. Chance to. Oh, I almost got hit by that. If I continue moving, I found money. I'm waiting for us to move. Nice, let's get out of that. Uh, now, for money purposes, in my opinion, how much I want to get is... How much money do I want? I want 26. If I get 26 coin... Ah, uh, not 26, 28. If I have 28 coins, I'm okay. Because I, I want 20 to be able to buy two relics from the shop. And then I want three to be able to reroll the shop. And then, uh, last but not least, I want five to be able to buy any... Um, any... The magnet that might appear. So 5 plus 3 for the reroll is 8, and then 20 for 2 relics. So that is 28. That is the amount of money. I, whoa, I'm blind. I even somehow dodged it, and then I double backed into it. Oh no, that was such a mistake. I drank my potion, and then the, we, we got an XP drop, and we got a coin drop. Not a, a full, a one bar health drop. I, I don't know. Guess I can't talk sometimes. Hey look, we found a new relic, and we found the healing, and we five found coins. Now I have 3d2 coins. Now I'm okay. Now I'm ready for it. Now I got what I wanted. I can just move in loops, do whatever. You know, I, I now have no longer any need for anything. We're gonna continue gaining money, of course, as we are about to go to the shop anyway. So, come on, man. Okay, let, let's go defeat the elite. Let's go defeat the elite. <laughs> let's actually stop playing around. Let's get this. Let's get maybe the healing. Let's stay in this area just to get the spirit hearts going in there. Because there is no reason to, you know, min-max or multitask, depending on how you see it. We even found more money. Very nice. Whoa, no. Oh, this also counts as an elite attack? I, I, I didn't see if it counted as an elite attack. I didn't see how much damage it did, is what I mean to say. Ah, doesn't matter. I think this guy's gonna go down in a moment. We're gonna continue amassing spirits over here for the assassinations. And, um, yeah, this guy's toast. And we did what we were supposed to. There's a slash attack. Let's actually go around finding a couple more boxes, because why not? You know what I see happen? If I, um, off-screen the boss... Yeah, if I off-screen the boss, it resets their attack animation or something. And, uh, then they just come in and do double attacks. That's what it feels like. Might be wrong, might be wrong. As always. But everybody's correct about everything. Oh. And let's go into destroying the boss now, which should be right about here. Very nice. And we got like five levels, I'm pretty sure. Gronky. Money. I forgot that we find money here always. Uh, what to go with? What to go with? First of all, we're gonna level up the birds. So, Raven, Eggs, Sacred, Flame on the ground. And uh, yeah, projectile scenario, whatever. Yeah, cooldown projectiles for sure. And uh, now I want to get... Actually, crit and cooldown is good. Let's get crit and cooldown. This is decent. And then the last one's gonna definitely be damage. So, uh, here I can get our bow, and I can get... I do 50% more damage, but I take half a heart more damage. Somebody didn't believe me that this is what this does. So, I guess we're gonna take it just to showcase. <laughs> and I'm correct. Unbelievable, right? Here we go. Look at this. Damage received is increased by half a heart. And 50% more damage done. How simple as that. Let's go with this. Let's roll it. That's a bow. That's just a weapon. Mighty bow. 20% movement speed is a definite yes in my book. And uh, I guess we're also gonna get the spear because that's also more damage, I would say. And uh, off we go. I did not find a magnet, which is very disappointing. But at least we got a bunch of weapons. Ho 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 ho. It's a light show. It's lagging my PC just a smidge. But it's a light show for sure. And I love it. 
And I'm doing 50% more damage, by the way. So it's not only that it's a light show, but also I do a lot of damage. So uh, whatever is in the zone is just lit and toast. And uh, any negative you want to say about it, I guess. Is being lit negative? Like what? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Money and healing. Very nice. And then we got a spirit heart because I entered Gnocchi's realm. And we got a heart around us. I love it. Wouldn't it be awesome if... It feels like there is some kind of um, effect that if opponents die from the light, they drop money or something. I heard the money drop. I don't know where exactly I heard it. I locked two boxes. Seems like these two boxes... Wait a minute. Do boxes refresh the moment you off-screen them? Is that a thing? Like, if I run towards the right real quick, and I have off-screen both of those boxes, and I'll rotate back, are they both gonna be already back? Is that a thing? No. Okay, good to know, good to know. Exploring the game mechanics over here. With sifts. Yours truly. Yeah, we got money. Very nice. I, I heard a potion, which is useless as a full life. And we got a very, very good area here. With a bunch of... Whoa, 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 whoa. You're running a bit too fast. Where are you going? Birds, catch him! Catch him, birds! Catch him, birds! Hey, this thing is really durable. And the stupid zone actually does only zero or like four damage per second, which isn't even that much. It isn't anything, to be honest. Like, <laughs> forget that much. It's just straight up nothing. And we're gonna get like 50 choices here. Please give me birds only. Yes! I, I find one bird, I take bird. I find bird, we, f we take bird. Avoid. A duration lasting longer. I don't know if it means that the trail also lasts longer. It definitely means that the bird goes a bigger path and therefore leaves a bigger trail. But I don't know if the trail itself stays on the ground longer. So the, the trail is longer, but does it stay longer is what I'm trying to say by saying this in five different ways. I think the next uh, point of order is to just stay here in the middle and pick up everything because I want to get this um, stupid icicle thing. I mean, it's not stupid to be honest. Whoever is around you gets slowed down or frozen. Although the area it covers is pretty small. I have seven levels. What am I waiting for? Uh, cooldown crits is a yes. Damage in area is a no. I want damage and project this, this. Damage and cooldown. Damage and cooldown. Damage and cooldown is okay. Damage and crits would be even more damage, but a damage and cooldown is also pretty good. Hey, look, money. Which I missed previously. Hey, look, even more money. Nice. The more money we find, the better, of course. Uh, once again, the cutoff point being at 28, but anything over 28, of course, is very well welcome. Very well, very much welcome, is what I meant to say. Avoid another potion. So this whole zone over here is just straight up a healing zone, which, honestly speaking, I would not want to need a healing zone. And we found a magnet. At this point, I am ready. Uh, I'm gonna say let's open up this chest. It seems to be a big chest. Are they different in sizes? Well, that was good. 5%, 5 damage on the birds. And also 0 0.5 damage on the trail, right? Because it seems like trail is 10% of our damage. And, um, yeah, is the bird? I I'm sure I want to see this. So, I do 80. Let's say 80. I do 80. So, the side birds do 40. That's half damage. And then the main birds do 4. So, this is 5. This is 50% of our damage. This is 5% of our damage every 0 0.11 seconds. So, uh, there is that, I guess. We got some money. Which is exactly what we want. 150. Whoa, almost got hit there. Well, we would not have been risking it if we had the everything around you freezes. Am I right? Of course not. Whoa, look at this. Two sixers. Very nice. Instantly 28 coins. Instantly almost rich. I instantly got the cutoff point that I myself set up for myself. Uh, I'm hearing that things dropped and a potion dropped. I'm, I'm hearing... Like, meta progression currency drop, but the issue is I do not know where. I I believe they should, like, s put some kind of indicator that shows easily where the things are. Especially if you have a build like this, right? This is like a light show. I can't even see anything. Oh, look, I actually saw something. Nine levels, by the way. Let's invest into the super arrow. And, um, yeah, I guess we're gonna go with arrows poison because I don't want to stop moving at all. So we're gonna go with arrows have a chance to poison, because why not? 17% chance, by the way. Although it says, yeah, 17.5. I don't know what exactly increased that. Let's go for the cooldown. I'm gonna fully level up the cooldown, and next after that, fully level up the area. Yeah, duration isn't really something I really care about. Attack speed, maybe, but damage is also really important. Maybe damage is the next one to go. And then cooldown, and then damage, etc, etc, etc. Damage first, then damage. Sift logic right there. Okay, I think we're getting so many opponents here that 
it would be a good idea to actually just stay in the middle and start amassing those souls so that I don't have to loop around. Poisoned? You see, we poisoned them. Pick up the chest, please. We're not gonna go in there just to pick up a specific chest. Nice, that guy's toast too. What did he drop? Nothing. I guess a level or something. Five? And we got five XP, uh, XP by the way. Attraction is bigger, cooldown's bigger, duration's bigger. I mean, attraction's bigger is only useful if you don't have magnets. And uh, even if I don't find another magnet for the next wave, it still doesn't really matter. Why does the time click? So we're gonna go with cooldown, in my opinion, as duration is really something I don't care about. <laughs> Let's continue onwards. Five, with 5% we'll cool, look at how many orbs we're gathering. Level up. Uh, I'm gonna say let's go with the damage. And now let's start investing into the cooldown. I could theoretically start going into Mighty Bow and everything else. Project Dust of Penetration and whatnot. Like, uh, yeah, we definitely could invest into the other weapons, which I never do. I always go for passives. Because I think passives are just better, right? I think increasing my damage by 20%. Makes it so oh, I just saw this elite. <laughs> I almost got hit by this thing. Are you gonna attack us or are you just gonna move around? I guess you're just gonna move around. And we got the snowflake, which is that we got the zone around us, and every half a second some icicles appear. You can see them. It's like an animation of like little frosty things, like poof, 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 you can see it. Um that thing, every time that pops, if anything is around us, we're gonna Yeah, we're gonna instantly not instantly have like a 50% chance to freeze. Something like that is the effect. I'm saying something like that because, I mean, it's exactly like that, but I'm saying something like that because it feels meh. Not that it actually does something else. So, what well, we got a boss. And what did we just drop? Something just dropped. Something just dropped. Let's avoid the elite. It's raining fire. I'm a bit afraid. Money, money, money. Oh, look at this. We got such a huge amount of money. Oh, another magnet. Nice. Very nice, actually. Let's pop this stupid thing. Let's get the other magnet. I'm gonna wait. Whoa! Let's avoid. Let's avoid. Good thing I have the movement speed boost. Boots. Uh, I'm waiting just for every single kill to go down. And now that I think it is, let's pick up the XP. And we're gonna avoid getting hit if I can. Now we're gonna try to loop around it. Ah, I got hit for no reason there. But at least I got the XP 20 levels. I'm ready for it. Let's go with cooldown and our cooldown. Uh, let's go into the chance to fire another arrow. Let's go with, not duration, no, I'm gonna go with area and more area. Uh, yeah, actually, let's go ultimate. That's also a good idea. Projectiles and damage rolled. Wow, this this actually rolled a good one. I'm gonna say, let's actually try to get this. Let's ultimate the boss, by the way. Did I get hit? I think something else happened. Whoa. He tried to slash us. Try to slash us. We're avoiding. Time for a defensive plan. Where's the elite? Here it is. Try to slash us again. Uh, oh, he's leaving flames behind. Wait a minute. I just realized. And he's also doing huge area attacks. Okay, so if he's doing flames behind, we're looping in big circles. Perfect. Just... And we won. Thank you very much. Give me the XP. I'm not gonna move. Ah, there was a coin up there, but it's okay. Let's get five coins from Gronky. Let's level up my actual arrows. Zoop. Sky arrows. Arrows fall from the sky every, almost every second. Uh, less than, wow, this is crazy good. And dealing 61 damage or shot a big, um, powerful arrow each 0 0.69 dealing 100. We're going to go with this. I'm going to go with it's permanently raining. A bunch of small hits to a bunch of people. That's what I want. And uh, we're going to definitely invest into this. More projectile. Ho, 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 ho. This is really good. We got a really good one. It would be better if it was a tax spin damage, but this is also really good. So I'm happy about it. I found the potion, not really that I care. Does this ice break anything? Nope. So we're gonna get this. It's 1%, 1 damage and 10% attack speed. I think this is 2 max life. It's 1 max life. We're still learning, man. Adds one full heart container is the Brunost. And uh, 1 damage on attack speed, as I said. Let's roll these. Let's roll them bad boys. Okay, this is 50% XP gain and this is 1 damage. And at this point, we are out, right? Yeah, 50% XP gain, increase the XP gained, and 50% XP gained, and then plus one damage. Why Why does this say increase the XP gained in white, and then experience plus 50%, instead of just saying 50% experience? Like this, adds one full heart, damage, like just the stats. You see, this, for example, says damage received is increased by half a heart, so this does something, like this white text means something, it does something, and then damage 50% in, you know, um, brown-ish. Well, here it's increased the XP gained in white, which doesn't mean anything, and then increases 50% XP, which is the actual thing what it does. So th this is 
Uh, this is a bit different than the rest. I I'm not saying that this is like something bad or it should change or anything. I'm just, I'm just like, you know, seeing it and calling it out for what it is. Don't take it as something offensive or anything. <laughs> uh, let's continue. Uh, classic Sift all the time. Crash talking everything he doesn't enjoy. And I, I mean, <laughs> I really enjoy this game, by the way. I really, really enjoy this game. It's chill. It's vibes. And as I have said a bunch of times... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. It's chill, it's vibes, and as I said a bunch of times, no, I'm kidding. Um, actually, though, I really enjoy that it's... You feel broken, but at the same time, it's not madness. It's just a bunch of birds that fly out and leave their gracie lines on the ground. Or, um, uh, like, rings of fire looping around you. Hopefully cards gonna appear at the top right. <laughs> about that. About anything I'm about to say. Or um, I don't know, you slam the hammer and flames are on the ground. Or you know, anything. Anything that you can do in this run in this game is just it's clean. And I really enjoy that. We trying to avoid some hits. And I still have a blue heart. That guy tried to hit us. Do you try to hit us, man? Whoop, avoid. I really enjoy the rain though. I think the rain is insanely powerful. The f do you even see that it's permanently raining all over the place? Like, the rain is the boss killer. I, this character, specifically the, the arrow build, is a boss layer because of this permanent rain effect. And you will always hit some bosses with something that flies off all the time. What is this, a potion? Who cares about the potion, man? What is this? A potion? You're throwing me a potion, man? <laughs> Kidding. The bird armada is just flying out, clearing out shop. I really enjoy it. Let's go. The only thing I haven't done with this character... Actually, I haven't done a full-on arrow build, and I also haven't done a full-on poison build. I did a full-on... I, I have done a, a rogue... No, what was it? Assassin build? I guess a... I guess a... Daggers build, right? Is what I would call it. Once again, hopefully cards gonna appear at the top, right? Uh, let's continue looping around. And now I'm gonna be reading comments being like, No card appeared, man. <laughs> yeah, because my editor is a human too. Wink, wink. Let's continue onwards, which which means, you know... Uh, whoa, let's pick up this potion. We're really strong, man. What's hit me? Oh, come on, man. The elite hit us. Of course. I just realized that I have the thing that says I take 50% more... Um, I take half a heart more. That's why I take one from everything. I was... Because I was about to say that uh, retroactively, of course, speaking. I remember that I lost one and a half heart. Not one and a half heart. I remember that I had one blue heart full on. And then when the elite hit us... I, I I lost like the full blue heart and also I lost even more. So at that point I just was like, what happened? How did I get hit? But uh, I now realize that uh, the blade is at fault here. Am I missing anything? I definitely did the 100 kills event. I did the 200 and 350 kills event. I, I bought the fiver, which was the... Um, yeah, I bought the 5 gold item, which was the mushroom. I bought the 10 gold, uh, the 15 gold item, which was a chest. Did I find my free item? I think my free item was this. No, this was the spike item. This was my free item, I think. I, I don't remember. One of these was my free item for sure. I guess it was the taunting because I would never pick up the taunting otherwise. I would not pay five for the taunting. I would not. Yeah, the taunting is most likely, was most likely my free item. So there shouldn't be anything else on the map if that's the case. And if there isn't anything, and then if that is the case, and it's actual that there isn't anything else on the map, then that means in order that I should just stop moving in random... Exactly, that was what I was trying to say. I should stop moving in random directions, and I should go and find the pillar, which uh, I don't see happening. Like, I straight up don't see us getting the pillar in time, which is, of course, really bad. Oh, here it is. <laughs> that was lucky. Let's go and touch the pillar before something crazy happens. Which the, the attack speed pillar is like useless. Get the elite. And we're about to go into the boss fight. Okay, Astrid the pixie. I'm gonna pick up everything. Which is gonna be a bunch of levels. And now the fight begins. Now I just need to avoid whatever is happening on the screen because I can't really see. Uh, are we getting still levels? I'm still gaining levels. Yeah, I'm actually still gaining levels. Are you serious right now? Still? Still! Okay, we got all the levels. Uh, she just ultimated. I mean, she just got phase 2. We have 30 points. So I'm gonna say we're gonna go with ultimate as it gives us damage and duration. We're gonna go with uh, duration on everything that includes the ultimate. Right? Area on everything that includes the ultimate. Right? We're gonna go with attacks on everything that also includes the ultimate. 
and the birds for that matter. And we're gonna go with duration. And uh, duration is the one thing I don't really care about. So maybe I should go with projectile snare. Nah, these things roll trash. So we're gonna just go invest everything into duration. And there's that, I guess. And uh, that one last point I'm gonna throw into poison damage. One poison damage, or I can just have poison bombs with daggers. Let's go with daggers, whatever. Do enjoy my daggers. Oh, come on, I got hit. Are you serious right now? What is the boss doing? Okay, the moment the boss stops moving, she's getting ulted. No. Fire! No, I got hit. No, 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 no. I, I don't know from what I got hit. I don't know from what I got hit, man. No! Ooh, now I'm panic mode. Now I'm panic mode. Now I'm panic mode. Please, birds. What's the boss doing? Oh, it's the pillars. It's, it's just raining. I don't see anything. Is there a healing? There is a healing outside. I don't know what the boss is doing, man. I cannot see anything. Please get the boss down. Yes, she did the best move she could have possibly done. We won. Unless she does another move right now. Yes, we won. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm like, phew! And that was very panic inducing with everything being a light show. <laughs> That's the thing that this game needs to fix. Unless there is option. Let me go into options and see. Coco Alfheim and hard mode or higher. Yeah, we unlocked some things. We won. Very nice. DPS of the boat, 308. Uh, DPS of the Ravenna, 678. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. This thing is good. Mighty bow is good, man. Without leveling it up, just by buying it, 118 DPS on top of everything else. Bow, 240. Yeah, pretty decent run. Pretty good run. Pretty powerful. But I'm telling you, this thing, the blade, this, this blade here is so dangerous. Man, it's always scaring me to take this thing. Damage received increased by half a heart. We had like four or five hearts going into the boss and after two hits it's like oh no we're gonna die. <laughs> and you lose too much life too fast. So what did I want to see? I don't even remember what I wanted to see. <laughs> Give me, oh yeah I wanted to see... Give me a second to remember because I'm really bad at this. Oh I remembered I remembered. Options. Options. So settings. Let's see. Either, is there anything? First of all show damage. Yes. Quality high. Yes. Uh, show stats effects, yes. Gamepad vibration, yes. I mean, who cares about this? Um, so yeah, there is nothing. There is nothing. Twitch settings, okay. There is nothing in this game that allows you to make enemy projectiles bigger or make them more visible or make your projectiles less visible or, or just anything that makes sure that the, the panic that's happening on the screen, you're not gonna get hit by it, right? Uh, so that, that's pretty bad, but uh, the rest of the game is good. Uh, like, design-wise, I'm saying that, you know, when, when opponents have things that appear on the map, it's hard to avoid them if you don't know what they're exactly about to do, right? And I obviously don't always know what exactly they're gonna do. Let's go with 5% damage. Just straight up more damage, uh, simple and clean. Simple and clean. You know what? I could go for more money, actually. Forget the damage. Money! 25% chance to gain more money when you find money. That's, of course, good. Or just straight up 5 more coins, but now we're gonna go with chance to find money. Anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, as always. Subscribe to if you wanna see more. And, uh, yeah, still enjoy the game. Still gonna continue playing this. Hope you guys are gonna have a good old... Uh, awesome vacation and uh, New Year even whatnot. So, uh, you know, it's coming up. <laughs> New Year's Eve is coming up. Hopefully everyone's gonna have fun. I'm definitely gonna. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do. I definitely enjoyed the run itself. So thanks for watching and see you guys around.